Welcome Capricorn, I'm Raven from Arendelle, Norway. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I pulled just a room for you. Um, we tend to pronounce them a little bit different. Uh, this is made by a Spanish lady. So we are going to go in on that business, uh, same as she is, to produce this kind of cards. And then we can also and go in and say you know that's that's not exactly how the rune is pronounced uh, but so this creates a lot of confusion this is written Perth or Perth as we would say so this is about your destiny uh, she reminds me a little bit about the magician but she's a little bit of a, I get this moon which she wipes from her with the black cat and the red hair. And she's all about mystery, about magic, about luck and the occult and wisdom. So it could be that she invites you Capricorn to explore the world of the occult, to see that not all things that, you know, just because you can't see it, Hear it doesn't mean that the multi-dimensional timeline does not exist. So let's have a look at your energies, Caps. Uh, if you have any placements in Taurus or a strong Taurus placement, I would dare you to check out the Taurus read or maybe a Scorpio placement because Taurus I think he is the winner or she's the winner of the year regarding the best read ever and I believe Virgo also got a pretty good one so beating that well good luck with that but we'll do our best so what's up what's up with caps so you have four of coins in reverse, letting go of something. Letting something go in the physical world. Usually four of coins equals a square. Something that is limiting us within a frame. In the framework, only Crawley saw this when he made the cards. Usually, we are holding on to something, but it's about a structure. It creates structures within concrete frames within this space time continuum, and sometimes they are not strong enough and we have to let them go. Here, you pop up as yourself, and it seems to me by letting go of something that does not serve you will in the long run gain you. This is Capricorn. This is how she's entering her throne, male or female, it doesn't matter. But sometimes letting go, you know, we are ridding our plants in the garden, some, some roots, certain things are destroying the garden. We have to let it go. And in order to get rid of those dirty roots, we get to ascend to the throne, you know, by mastering also the, <laughs> the mind of manifestation. Because this one is a witch and she knows how to manifest. Okay, so let's see what kind of challenges coming up for you, Caps. Okay. So there could be a small drama here with the seven. Uh, we have two uh, cocks here, roosters. I am stronger than you kind of energy. Maybe you have to feel you need to defend yourself. We have someone here uh, who perhaps, uh, it seems to me she had a small cup of love to commit or to go in with or I don't know and she is no longer there and uh, now Capricorn have to face the illusion of the ego 
what kind of path shall I take? Shall I take the path of compassion or shall I take the path of judgment? That is the law of the Kabbalah and that's why he's done like Shiva, he's thrown his magical beasts around his neck and he's separating, transmuting the false self, which is the ego, uh, which is attached to the name, titles of the work, who we, where we grew up, who we think we are. This is a transmutation of the self and this could easily be the battle of of your ego versus uh, the spirit, where you in the end here says that you know, the <laughs> surrender. And someone here, they they wanted perhaps to, to come in with some offer, but uh, perhaps they were caught in the middle of the fire. Let's have a look at this person. Let's have a look. So Capricorns are now in a very transmutal process where, process where you have to fight the biggest square of them all, which is Saturn. Uh, and uh, to transmute that into becoming the real horn of God, the fertility God, the one that's playful, the one that's, uh, you know, I can commit and I can yet have my freedom. Um, to find the comfort zone within the frame without being swallowed by the sensation of the concrete around it. And uh, let's see who this water sign is who, who is no longer coming in with that cup. So it seems to me uh, here we have Scorpio energy. Uh, so Ragnarok or judgment is usually something we have when we want to resurrect something, raise something. Uh, it's a judgment day, or we take the judge, we do the take the judgment, or like, okay, it is enough as it is. It seems to me that something here it could be a side story, something, but. Let's see. Let's see where you are, Caps. I have a feeling that I love to get the very easy, PC kind of love puff reads. Uh, now that Saturn and Pluto is rocking in Capricorn, uh, it can be a tough time for many Capricorns who are still uh, living in an old locked to an old timeline and following ancient rules uh, who are attached to the ego uh, you will have some problems when the new timeline now because many of us are being shoved over to all the timelines where we are being connected into a pretty colorful world actually and for those Capricorns or Earth signs who are who wants to be stuck in the old world, the old thinking, using the mind for service to the self, uh, follow traditions that no longer have any purpose, you are the ones who will be challenged. I see. <clears throat> I see. This is uh, quite strong divine feminine energies uh, popping up for you. I don't know if these are uh, women or energies that you are dealing with because we have the Empress, the highest of them all. Is she in your challenge or is she a potential within you? And you also have uh, here she's very sensual, uh, the high priestess, and she's not talking, she is an alchemist, just like the Hierophant, 
she lives alone and uh, she's basically you could almost call her a witch if you want to lower it her level. she's much higher than a witch like i don't know um depends on the witch i suppose uh witches that can come in all categories some of them can be very three dimensional in the way they spend their energies uh, but she the high priestess she's directly connected to source and she's not attached to the ego and she is quiet because this is how she's accumulating her powers the empress however is ruled by venus it's uh, you could say a 3 3d understanding of Venus, how she would be like if she were personified as a woman. This is someone who is not old but <coughs> mature, uh, very attractive, sometimes pregnant, very fertile. She could all already be, usually, she's already attached to her divine counterpart. So, you have every, you have three very strong feminine energy here and you have judgment let's check out what's going on in the past capricorn so you i feel whoever i'm talking to you have a very strong feminine energy that you need to embrace you could be divine masculine yourself where you reject everything that is you know, supernatural but then again, you will be tossed away to the old timeline. Here you have a soulmate that you recently might have disconnected to. Six of Cups in reverse. Soulmate, uh, someone you know, someone you have a very strong connection to, either from childhood or in spirit, through lifetimes. I see the connection is cut off and it could be quiet between a few. I don't see any resentment from anyone here. Okay, that door is going to die soon. Very much. <laughs> okay, so someone are removing themselves from you. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, enough door snacking. Enough door smacking. So, someone are removing themselves from you, or you could be removing yourself from them. It seems to me like the, this aquatic sign. Uh, it was too much uh, uncertainty. This is Scorpio energy. Uh, Venus in Scorpio, or something. Um, I don't like this card, Capricorn. I don't like this card. I don't like this card. <clears throat> Let me see. What is this? Show me the swords. Two lovers gone. Ten of cups gone. Show me the face of the seven. Oh, this is... Um, I'm not sure I like this Capricorn. What you have been mixed into. 
for what you have let yourself be mixed into. Yeah, it is easy to think that those around us who are friends and family, they are the ones who nourish her and most the best of her because we know them in, in our entire life. But that's not always the case. Six of Cups again, Queen of Cups. Sometimes we meet people who are not connected to your blood, who are not connected to your childhood in that manner. And yet we would choose family, mommy and daddy, sisters, and the things they say that makes sense although it will lower your vibrations you need to you need to see the difference between or feel the difference between a low vibration and a high vibration if you are around people who constantly bombard you with opinions and they undermine your vibration and they cloud your perception then who in the end should you listen to the ones who loves you unconditionally. I know your mom and dad does that. I'm sure of that. But they are outdated. Do they know? Because they, they will tell you what education to take. They will tell you who to marry. They will tell you what car to buy, what house to buy. And I know I know one Capricorn now who is living in his car barely with any money left because mommy and daddy said that this was the best for him in the end and also picking out a wife for him that was the best for him uh, he was wise enough to to go down on that offer but still every month high debt on a car that in the end, it was the parents who wanted that car. And in the end, you are supposed to hold a high vibration to spread love, to receive and to give love. Now, if you are constantly feeling you are a victim of someone, then you need to own up for yourself and own up for that man yourself up or female yourself up. You have the craft here. Show me the seven. Because someone here are playing games with you. <clears throat> here you have Saturn. Seven again. Some of you might have a strong Scorpio placement, but I see many of you are beyond confused. Seven of cups popping up again and again. There's a lot of emotions. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. And this, because you haven't been able to follow your own heart. Some of you end up in grief. And you will end up always as the slave of what someone else want for you. Either your parents, your friend, family, personally. I don't have anything to do with my own family. Does that make me to a poor, selfish person? I will not be around people who tell me that I am worthless unless I do like they do. And lower my vibration. So you have a choice. Maybe there was a betrayal here. Maybe someone tried to play games on you. Which ended up in you contaminating your heart, feeling left out in the cold. Yes, someone's played you. Maybe you are the player Capricorn. Usually, people who are working from a three-dimensional level of consciousness are playing each other all the time. And these are the people you need to get away from. 
You need to set a standard for yourself if you want to really own up to this position. If you really want to have this kind of people around you. Right? I'm being strict because I'm pretty fed up by, by the, this 3D mentality. Uh, it is not serving us. It is not serving this world in any way. And personally, I'm not going to involve myself with people who are operating. If I, if I confront them somehow, <laughs> not like that exactly, confront them somehow, and they respond to me with, with either you know, yeah, gaslighting, turning the table uh, on you instead of trying to find out what is it exactly what we are talking about here. <clears throat> I see now that I still have people in my life that are so full of hate. They are so full of denial. They themselves, they never do anything wrong. They don't own up to their own mistakes and uh, they, they, you know, the, the, the length of manipulation, especially here, yeah, I, I, I'm just speechless, I'm speechless, I feel it's time for me now to leave, to just be out in the nature because right now the only one I can trust are trees and dogs. <laughs> okay, so let's check. It's crowning the energy, so, because clearly we see here that you have uh, you're in a process right now, Capricorn, and that is a process that could be worthy of a. Uh, Scorpio, when they ascend from snake to eagle and from eagle to phoenix and that's quite a painful process to see that the people you thought should be a part of your life does not serve your higher purpose. So you could be left hanging here. Queen of coins, I choose to put her in her proper position as you, as you. So if, if she is not in that position, you can choose to manifest her back into someone who are financial stable and not because you, you just go and apply for a job and, and be that, uh, we say, Nikki de Gue, right? But because you, you are a multidimensional being and you have multiple of options on how to create an income. This is a speciality of the Capricorn. Okay. So we have seven of wands, a little bit of conflict maybe. A little bit of conflict. And uh, seems to me that you're overthinking something a little bit and you, because of this, I see that you have some work to do. Perhaps this is what you desire, but you're not right there right now. This area is in Scorpio where you are ready to transmute yourself. Uh, this creates, uh, this is, this can, you know, feel like something very scary. So right now you're overthinking something a lot in order to have your new beginning. But the problem here is that if you are using old tools that are broken, you cannot have a new beginning. So the, the transmutation of death here in order to have a new beginning, it's painful. But it is necessary for you to to grow as not just as a as a man or a woman, but as a as a as a soul. Because you are not your mind, you are not your name. 
you cannot identify yourself with the things you do. That is not you. You are beyond the self. You can watch the movie Sam Hardy if you like. Perhaps you're ready for that. Let's see here. Okay, so we have grief, five of cups. Someone might come in with a small offer, could be a work proposition. Um, see, there is a small heartbreak in the bottom here, which you might not see coming in. And uh, I see you use, using an old program here, which is uh, juggling with the coins. Uh, but in reality, you need to transmute those snakes there. This is uh, ten walls in a way, uh, in its own way. Um, in many ways, you are the wounded war warrior and you need to start think differently. You need to start, uh, I don't know, um, it's easy to say look in the new age community, but it is, you know, new, new age communities and breathe like this and breathe like that. But yeah, it could be a new beginning, how you breathe, uh, heal yourself, how you treat your body, what you eat, uh, trying to detox your mind from toxic people or toxic way of thinking, remove yourself. Uh, from even vocabulary is hate this, hate that. Try to cleanse your language because it's spelling and cleanse your mind of toxic ideas and people. So there is something here about animals. You all get that. We have an earth angel. Uh, confident. You can invite confidence coming to you. And I'm not talking about confidence for the ego who wants to drive that nice bike or the limo true confidence from the heart who have compassion for everyone and everyone if you operate from a very selfish state of mind where there is only service to self that is also what you will get from friends and that's what life will serve you selfish people situations that are challenging you uh, until you you think bigger think big beyond your soul, empowering of uh, the sense of self, uh, lose yourself into something new and the answers will be inside of you and just because you attain a certain knowledge within spirituality it does not make you, it does not make you more special than others, it does gives you a heads up so you have many blessings coming in for you here uh, you need to set yourself free and there is something here about fertility and protection uh, and by the way i'm raven and good luck to you i love you so much and i catch you on the flip side